Welcome to the Card Dojo. My name is Sean, and happy holidays, guys. As you can see, there is a sack on the floor, and you can hear some sleigh bells or possibly some faint Christmas music in the background, guys. You know what time it is. Once again, the third annual Card Dojo Holiday Extravaganza. So, if you're familiar with the channel, you know exactly what's going on. If you're new, well, first of all, thank you for subscribing. Second of all, this is the holiday celebration here at this channel. What I do is celebrate the 12 days of Christmas starting tomorrow and ending on Christmas Eve with the grand finale on Christmas, really the 13 days of Christmas. But what we do is each day starting tomorrow, we will rip the amount of packs that corresponds with the date. So tomorrow is the 13th. We will rip 13 packs all the way up until the 24th and we will rip 24 packs all randomly picked out of this big old sack, guys. Now today... Uh, what we do is we don't rip packs, unfortunately, so half of you will probably leave. But for those of you who care to see what packs and products we will rip this year, uh, the hits and the stories as to why I pick each product, you can stick around. And today, guys, we are going to pack the sack. Uh, this katana will be used today, and then for the next 12 days, we will not see it again. So here we go, guys. The first product, because this is a predominantly a football channel, we have Legacy. Uh, 2022 now obviously this is the current year I like to start off with the current year product make sure we chase the current dudes and see current rosters right we have 16 packs um, eight cards per pack there are two autos guys and uh, possibly one of them could be an RPA there are destiny and lures as case hits and their tears will be three per case I am personally looking for uh, a Chiefs rookie auto Possibly a dare to tear, if not that. And uh, the number one card, uh, very specifically, that I would like to pull is a dare to tear Mahomes Super Bowl MVP. And I would not tear that if I pulled it. I would tear anyone else, pro but probably more than likely. But Mahomes, no. So there you go, guys. That is Legacy. We can see some filler cards, possibly an RPA. Hopefully, it would be very nice. All right, now. Um, in addition to football, I rip a, a lot of different products. My second favorite uh, sport, I would say, is baseball. Uh, the New York Yankees uh, did very well up until the playoffs this year and then got immediately swept out. But here we go. Uh, a dojo first, guys. Channel first. My first time doing an entire Prism Hobby Box. Yes, it took an unlicensed baseball product, but I'm finally doing it. We have 12 packs. Um, something fell. Oh, no. New York Giants fell, guys. Hold on. That came from Touchdown Card 17. All right, we have 12 packs, and in these 12 packs, we'll have three autos. I'm sorry, I'm looking off the side to read my cheat sheet. Three autos, and uh, personally, uh, well, well, we have a Color Blast and Lava Flow. Case hits available. And I am personally looking for, I'll always name three things. Uh, one, a stained glass Ot Otani. Two, any kind of Color Blast whatsoever. And three, my most um, desired card, I would say, is I want to pull a Lava Flow, Aaron Judge, who is now a New York Yankee for the next nine years. Okay. All right. So there you go. Uh, coming up next, guys, not so often, but I do occasionally dabble in a little basketball horribly. I have typically done throwbacks during the extravaganza because those are the names I know. Uh, the Jason Kids, the the Barclays, uh, Shaqs, Jordans, um, Kobe, you know, that period of time. But I have this current year. This is a retail box of Optic. There are 20 packs in here. Uh, and then what we're looking for are checkerboards, okay? Um, autos are possible. You can probably see on there somewhere. Uh, I am looking for any kind of checkerboard parallel. Um, a signature gold series would be nice. Or the big hit uh, that most people will be looking for is a Scotty Barnes checkerboard. Um, so there we go. Let me just take these packs out. They should be very thin and flimsy. I don't want to damage anything. There we go. Okay. There is some optic. Lovely. All right. Coming up next, guys. Um, I do Pokemon. And last year, we snubbed Pokemon. I'm putting them back in this year, uh, mostly because uh, Game of Thrones is unavailable. So my non-sports product of this year is going to be the Shining Fates ETB, which I'm going to recklessly go through just to take the packs and the rest of the stuff. Uh, well, 
never be seen again. But in this product, guys, we are looking for that card right there. Um, basically, just a Charizard V Max. All right, that is 10 packs, guys, of Pokemon, and that is it. Uh, that averages less than one pack per day, but hey, we can find that Charizard. Um, something I always do each year is, well, at least starting last year, golf, guys. Last year we did a throwback. This year we are doing uh, 2021 SP Authentic, which is upper deck. Uh, we're going to have two autographs. Uh, I think maybe possibly mem cards, but not guaranteed. Uh, and I'm looking for a Colin Morikawa auto, a Justin Thomas auto. Well, guys, really, honestly, what I really want is a Tiger Woods auto. In any shape, way, shape, or form, he has single autos, he has insert autos, he has dual and triple autos all available. There's a little, little thing there. Okay, you know what? There we go. Okay. How many packs, guys? I'm sorry. There are 18 packs in this box, so let's take out the golf. Let's take out all these Tiger Woods and safely throw that away. Oh, this is going to get sloppy. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, coming up next, guys, what are we going to do? How about the annual Travis Kelsey Rookie Chase with the 2013 Elite, the same box we've done every year of the Holiday Extravaganza, uh, 20 packs per box. We will get two autos and two mem cards, more than likely. Uh, I'm not really sure about the case hits. What I'm looking for is obviously that Travis Kelsey rookie card. We did pull one number card previously, the die cut. I would like a different variation of that. Um, number two, there is a Passing the Torch dual autograph from Peyton. I'm sorry, no, no. Eli and Phil Sims for the backup New York Giants PC. And uh, my top chase, guys, I want the Travis Kelsey rookie auto. Not just the base card. I want his autograph, please. All right, now, something I have done every year is some sort of wrestling product. This year, we're going back for the third time to 2022 Select. Um, I like this product now that Panini has the license. And I like the legends, guys. Nostalgia, a big part of like Christmas to me. You know, as an adult, you look back and you get the nostalgia going. Nothing to me is more nostalgic uh for my teenage years really then wwe attitude ever uh raw and smackdown if you were around back then you understand what i'm saying if you weren't you don't get it because wrestling just isn't as popular now and may never be as it was during the attitude era it just wasn't like uh it was more like mainstream uh pop culture there is a thick chunky um one there we do get one mem card so that's probably it uh, I'm looking for any numbered legend, guys, at a, at a 10 or less. Like a short print legend would be fantastic. I wouldn't mind um, a legend auto. And then to be very specific, I couldn't narrow it down, guys. I tried. I tried writing down either HPK or Stone Cold, but I couldn't pick which one. So either an HPK or Stone Cold auto would be the um, ideal pull uh, from that select right there safely. Uh, yeah, okay. Moving on, guys, to stay with the, the combat sport, another first is this kind of like, I don't know why people are upside down, but um, UFC. And of course, we're chasing Paddy the Batty, uh, rated rookie. Now, unfortunately, oh, and there we go. I knew that was a bad idea. Okay. All right, that's safer. Um, unfortunately, Panini must have very few Paddy Pimblet autos, right? But they do have them available, and according to the Cardboard Connection, they are available only in the non-numbered uh, retail parallel. So there's no Paddy Auto available in this, but there are 10 packs. There is one Auto and one Mem Card, and these are very big, chunky packs. There we go. All right, kind of safely. Uh, what am I looking for out of this? We are looking for, because there's no... Paddy Auto, a numbered card, simply a Paddy rated rookie numbered. Uh, I wouldn't mind a numbered Conor McGregor Marvels, right? Yeah, and then finally, uh, the big chase apparently in the product, if you look on eBay, is Bruce Buffer's auto. So that'd be pretty cool uh, to pull that. But mostly, I just want a Paddy the Batty um, numbered card. All right, guys, what is next? Yes, a holiday tradition, guys. Of course, it is, you know, the holiday season, so it only makes sense to have holiday blasters of Donruss. Now we have 2020, 
and 21. Why? Well, because 2022 is not coming out until February because they are so far behind, guys. So instead of having this year's rookie class, we're going to do the two previous rookie classes. And I'm sure no one's going to complain because the two previous rookie classes were a little bit better than this. What can I do here? Are a little bit better than this year's class. So we get the big names, Chase. Um, geez. All right. Brute force and strength is what we just did there. Not really. Okay. So in 2020, well, both of them, guys, we're looking for red and green optic previews. And of course, you know, for each year, we're just looking for those quarterbacks. Sure, why not? Um, and then, of course, you also get a holiday sweater card from each of these. Um, I pulled, well, I bought the Clyde Edwards Alaire. So I wouldn't mind finding the Kadarius Tony from 21. Or from 2020, let's just go for the Joey B. Let's go for the Joey B holiday sweater card. That's what I want to pull from those. Okay, up next, guys. And this one has kind of a, a little bit of a story. Cashing in some karma, guys. It's a long story. I'll try to make it short. But basically, when I ordered a lot of these boxes from Blue Cards, they shipped me the wrong shipment. And it was actually a much more valuable shipment than mine. In fact, it was um, like $2,500 more valuable than what they shipped me. Um, but it wasn't what I wanted and it was all basketball and it really wasn't for the gonna fit my extravaganza so I did reach out to them and I ended up sending all of that back in exchange for this box they gave me this box for free uh, for the fact that I gave them back over two and a half thousand dollars worth of um, wax that I could have sold on eBay and then this whole thing would have been free instead this is free uh, because I was um, dumb uh, or, you know, a good person, depending on how you want to look at it. Anyway, we have 10 cards in this, guys. Maybe the good karma will come, and we'll have a super cool, um, chunky RPA. Hopefully, please, there is one chunky pack there, right there in the middle. So please, please, let the karma have paid off, guys. Uh, you can see the comparison in a, a chunky versus a not chunky patch. Um, so yeah, guys, certified is also a tradition, because it's like, you know, a mid-end, and you can always pull a nice RPA. So I've always had certified in the holiday extravagance. This is the third year in a row. Uh, what do I want to pull from that? I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I want to pull either a Chiefs rookie auto, a vaulted greats Eli Manning auto, or to be very specific, certified air, the mighty or certified stunners, the case hits basically, Patrick Mahomes. All right, yeah. Now, next guys, returning after a year absence, Allen and Ginther, and this is this year's, Allen and Ginther is predominantly a baseball product, but it also has a bunch of weird, wacky, fun stuff in holidays, guys. The holidays are about fun. So this is a good time to rip Allen and Ginther. Uh, and then we will only be ripping a couple packs per day because, you know, we're not through the whole box. There are in this, what, 24 packs? And there's three hits. And they explain hits as like, it could be a book, it could be a, an auto, it could be a relic, uh, one of many things. And then there's also this big old box loader. Uh, we will save this as a bonus. In fact, okay, what I'm going to do, guys, for that box topper is this pack is going to have this little piece of tape on it. Um, surgically, precisely placed right there. So that when I'm pulling the packs, I don't realize it. But then when I open it, I will realize that there's a tape on that. When I pull this pack, I will open up also this oversized card which could be an auto it could be numbered or it just could be a basic um whatever so this is the magic pack whenever we pull this pack we will rip that uh now i'm gonna put that pack back with the other 24 which you can't see i'm sorry but guys i don't want to damage anything i'm being very um careful but reckless at the same time okay my top three polls guys and this is why i like ginther it's so random um we are looking for a tyrannosaurus rex a uh, fossil relic card, um, possibly maybe a Thomas Jefferson one of one um, auto, which I don't know if has been pulled yet, uh, and or I don't see anything super thick out of that, so uh, I don't know, but um, a booklet of Aaron Judge and Derek Jeter that'd be absolutely fantastic to pull that, guys. All right, so we're getting near the end. But uh, a few more to go. And uh, one of the things, again, that I always include is a throwback. Because Christmas time around the, the late 80s, early 90s was when we did a lot of our pack ripping in my like maybe five years of collecting as a kid. 
like I said, predominantly uh, between like 89 to 91 was our peak. And we did at one point rip these action packs. And uh, last year, I think we did, um, I forget exactly, but we did tops or pro set the first year. I always pick a product that we ripped at some point in time as a kid. And then I get to live out my childhood dreams by ripping entire boxes of it as an adult. Here we go, guys. Action packed. These are like thick cards. So as a kid, if you want to like use your trading cards as throwing stars, Action Packed was like the preferred uh, trading card to do that with, which is why they're all incredibly damaged and they are very tightly put in this box. Uh, but the big chase out of these, nothing much guys, just cool old names. Looking back into the early 90s, we will be looking for, however, gold, 24 karat gold leaf is available. So that would be a very rare card. There's no autos or mem cards, anything like that. Again, it's from 1991. But again, the nostalgia factor is going to be there. We will mix them up and uh, rip probably on average, you know, two of these per day. This was 24 and we're doing 12 days worth. All right. Uh, are we almost done? Yeah. Origins is up next, guys. I'm sorry. I keep looking at my checklist. I don't know if my sound, my microphone picks it up. Uh, another dojo first, guys. I've never done Origins of any sort. Now, this is not the hobby. This is the International Blaster Box. And as we all know, International is French for expensive. Because this is three times of what you would typically pay for a Blaster Box. But these cards are about three to four times as thick. So it's really that paper cost and the paper shortage, I'm sure. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, in here, there's no autos, but you can get potentially get any of those numbered cards, guys. So what we're looking for, any number chiefs. I don't really have, I have like one Origins card. It was a Mahomes I brought from Com C way back in the day. Uh, you can see that the packs are thick. Uh, they are lovely, lovely chunkers going on right there. Um, Origins is beautiful. Like I said, I've always wanted to rip it. Never have. Now we're going to do it. Uh, what is it? 12 packs total for the two boxes combined. Uh, and there are case hits, guys. Uh, and they are called Big Bang. So, like I said, any Chiefs number card and then really just a Big Bang Mahomes. Uh, preferably, please. Okay. Now, finally, guys, I have some loose packs. Finally, last but not least, uh, just to even things out, for no reason in particular, I have one pack of Rookies and Stars from 2020. Because we need 222 packs. Uh, breaking into the vault, I wanted to have more. This is a tradition that we cannot not continue. Here it is, guys. Once again, Donruss 2017. We have eight more packs, guys. I'm going to have to buy more of these, but I have eight packs left. I'm throwing them all into the sack. Mem cards are possible. I don't think there's autos, but of course, we are looking for the Patrick Mahomes rated rookie. Uh, we've pulled two of them during the extravaganza. Uh, we're hoping to add one, if not two, to that total. And then finally, guys, the very last pack, uh, number 222 is once again Donruss 2017, but this time the optic. You can get lime green parallels. I'm not honestly sure if we can pull autos. I don't think so. I don't think you can pull downtowns either. Um, no, but uh, I'm gonna save this one for day 12. I don't, I'm not gonna put it in the sack because we, we were able to tell which one this is immediately. It's the only fat hanger pack, value pack, um, you know, retail. Most of this guys is hobby this year, uh, but there we go. We'll put it right there. And then of course on Christmas day, guys, we will have some something special if I can speak. I'm getting tongue tied after all of these packs, guys. Look how beautiful this is. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix them all up and uh, I'll do like a little time lapse so you can enjoy it. And I'm gonna let you know who this year's card dojo holiday extravaganza sponsor is. Yeah, okay. The card dojo holiday extravaganza is brought to you by the card dojo eBay store. It is over a thousand cards from Pokemon to baseball to basketball and of course football. Except the Chiefs and Giants are there on PC. Otherwise, there are a ton of cards, guys, that give you under five dollars. And from now until December 17th, any order will receive a card dojo first edition. It's different than like a little, little, little but it's a ticket nonetheless, guys. Any order until supplies last. Um, link in the description, guys. Go check it out. It's hard to search for um, sellers like you. So, link in the description.
Well, there we go, guys. Uh, 35 seconds for you, but a long time for me. 222 packs now randomly sorted out. They will go into the sack carefully so we don't damage any corners or whatnot. And then starting tomorrow, guys, 14 packs will be pulled out randomly. We will find out what's in 14 of these packs. And then each day up until Christmas Eve, we will find out eventually what's in every single one of these packs. And on Christmas Day, there will be a special bonus. Um, I'm just not sure what it is yet. It's not here. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and take care.